What's up, guys, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's Our Little Horror Story. And welcome to part one of a brand new series that I'm very excited to be starting on the channel with all of you guys, three random FNAF fan games. Now, as you guys know, a running series that we have on the channel is three random horror games, where we check out three completely random horror games, and we put them all in one video, and the videos usually are a little bit longer than usual, and they're a lot of fun. Well, I figured let's bring that over to the FNAF community, and let's do three completely random FNAF fan games, whether they're shorter games or longer games. These are games that, you know, we're just going to check out in a video, and if you guys want to see, you know, a full series on them, just comment whatever game you guys want to see a full series on the comment section down below and we'll check it out in a full series but you know i think this is a great way to play through a lot of fnaf fan games and experience a lot of stuff that we usually skip over and i think it's going to be a lot of fun of course if you guys do want this to become a full series on the channel you know what to do leave a like on this video leave some comments down below and of course if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button because this is your place to be for all types of fnaf game gameplay and of course random horror games and stuff like that anyways let's go ahead and hop into the first game our little horror story Ooh, this looks like it's going to be very scary, though. But it's weird. The, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the window on this game is very messed up. And <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm sure you guys can tell. Like, look, look, if I go to, like, cameras. Yeah, look. Look at how bad it. Like, there's, like, a border. It's like I'm zoomed out or something, but I'm not supposed to. But this looks cool. Okay, so we've got camera three, which looks like a bathroom. Yeah, that's a bathroom. You got a toilet and everything. You've got the main dining hall right there. The lighting looks really good in here. And it looks... Oh, whoa. Look at Spring Bonnie. That looks so creepy. Oh, that is so disturbing looking. I hate that. Okay. What do we got here, though? So we've got a main... Okay, so we have a flashlight right here, a main hallway. And it looks like that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, look at him down there staring at the ground. What's down there, huh? A little ant on the ground? A little roach on your foot? Why, why are you staring down at the ground like that? I mean, you got to think. There's a lot of pizza slices that have been probably thrown on the ground down there. There's got to be some kind of insect crawling around on his feet. That's probably why he's staring down there. All right, so it looks like he's going to... Yep, he's moving from camera to camera. So he's got to go to camera three after this, right? I'm assuming so. Let's keep a close eye on him, though. So I'm a little bit worried about this. So it looks like it's only Spring Bonnie, though. So where's Fredbear at? I didn't really read too much about this game, so I'm not too sure who we're going to be experiencing in it, but... Okay, there he is. Oh, no, he's in the, he's in the bathroom. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't go to that camera. All right, he's... It looks like he's... Okay, yeah, he's looking at either the sink or the toilet... He might, he might be using the bathroom. Let's just stay off that camera. I just, I'll do a quick look just to make sure he's still there. He's still, okay. All right, just, just a quick one. All right, we don't want to look at him too. He's gone. Okay, is he? Oh my God, he's at the end of the hallway. Oh, he looks so creepy. Wait, what do I do though? Flash him with the light, you know? A, a little withered, withered foxy FNAF 2 action on him? No? Keep the light on him? No? <laughs> he's just staring at me I'm like I'm going to die. Hello? <laughs> Uh, let me honk his nose, maybe? No, you can't honk his nose. Okay, I tried. I'm just gonna keep the light on him. Okay, hello! Wow. Uh, what's going on here, fella? I don't know what you want me to do. You're, you're flashing the light for me. I'm not doing that, so... I'm dead. Whoa, that jump scare was crazy. Oh, okay, that was supposed to happen. Dude, that jump scare was crazy looking. That was so cool. Okay, hey, this game was just supposed to be a super rough test game so I can get into using Click Team Fusion. I plan on maybe making a full game of this someday, but for now, it's just so I can learn the ropes. Bye. Wow, yeah, that jump scare was crazy. Like, I think all that game's really missing is, you know, more cameras, obviously. You know, a little bit more sharpening on things, a little bit more objects and stuff like that in, in, the, in the pizzeria. But that jump scare right there was really cool looking. Like, that was nice. Well then, that was a good first game. Like I said, it's got its problems with the windowed mode or whatever's going on, you know, with the game. But besides that, the main game was awesome. Now, we still have two more games to check out, so let's go ahead and head into the next game. All right, so here we are with the next game. Now, this is called A Night at the Restaurant, which is apparently a reimagining of the original 2015 FNAF fan game, Five Nights at Fredbear. And uh, I, I, believe it or not, I actually played this on the channel. I looked at the video because I was like, did I miss this one? I don't remember it. Well, I remembered it, but I thought it was called like Five Nights at Freddy's 3 for some reason. But I just remember that... It, Everything was really green in the office, and uh, it had a big, horrifying-looking animatronic, which it looks like they brought back, which we can see on the menu right there. And, uh, yeah, we last played this game February, I think, of 2015, so seven years ago. Pretty crazy to think about, but let's go ahead and hop into a new game and begin. This is always fun, though, whenever people reimagine, like, you know, older games. 2017, Mike Schmidt turns 44 years old. Okay. Mike is still struggling with his past experiences as a, as a night guard for one of Fazbear Entertainment's many restaurants. Despite Fazbear Entertainment going bankrupt and shutting down the year he was fired, the thought never left him. He even, even as he got older, the building of the location he guarded still stands, completely untouched. One night, curiosity finally consumes him, and he decides to explore the abandoned pizzeria. He heads straight for his office, and he notices a lever that he's never seen. 
Mike flips the lever without even thinking of its importance, and suddenly the entire building comes back to life, as if it never shut down. However, the bright lights are instantly overwhelmed by a loud shattering of glass. Ooh. A little bit of storytelling. Oh, wow. This looks good. The, the funny thing is, this is how, like, I remember it looking in 2015, but I know for sure as a fact it did not. <laughs> Look at all, like, the grimy posters and the, the leaves. Oh, the foliage, or whatever it's called, like, actually moves. That's so cool. So, wait. The door doesn't work. The light does work, though. Okay. Yeah, neither of the doors work. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Look at the cam systems. Everything's green, dudes. I told you. I, the only thing I remember is everything's green. It's so funny, though, because, like, this is what people thought FNAF 3 was going to be, like, at the time, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember there was a Five Nights at Freddy's 3 fan game that maybe came out in 2014 or something like that. But uh, it was, like, whenever FNAF 2 came out. And if you look at that game compared to what FNAF 2 actually looks like, there it's just FNAF 1. But, like, with, like, minor little differences. It's so funny. Okay, so what's our... Oh, my God, wait. My power is shooting through itself right now. I've only got... Oh, wait. What's that? What was that? Thought I heard a vent noise, but I don't think there's a vent in this game. Dude, we're we're a hundred percent gonna run out of power. I've only got twenty-four percent left, and I haven't really been doing much. Oh boy, it started me so low. I don't know why. I guess you know the building didn't have much power left in it, but where's the Oh, there he is. There he is, camera one A. Dude, look at my power. I'm at eighteen percent. What am I gonna do? There's no way I'm winning this. Can I is there any way to like get my power back? I don't I don't see anything. I don't think there is. Oh, maybe I don't need power in this game. Oh my gosh, dude. He looks crazy though. Look at that guy. He looks crazy looking. He's so far away though. Oh no. I'm just not gonna look at anything, I guess. I think even if I just stand here and do nothing, I'm still going to lose. <laughs> yeah, look at how fast it's going down. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it has to be on purpose. Whatever's happening right now. I'm just going to continue to look at him because whatever's happening has to be on purpose. Is there like a power recharge thing that's like new in this game or no? Oh boy. Yeah, we lost. Wow, I'm out of power. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> this has to be part of the game, dude. It has to be. I I don't know. Uh, is it going to be like FNAF where he... Oh yeah, there is music. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it, it doesn't last anywhere near as long as the original FNAF one. Oh, yeah, he's in. We're dead. What the heck? That was cool, but what did I do? Hold on, let's go back to the title screen. There has to be something I'm missing, or... I don't know. Maybe we did something wrong. There's a hard mode, but how do you even beat the normal mode? I don't know what I did. All right, let's skip the intro since we've already seen it. And let's just hop back into the game. Let's give it another shot. Maybe we just don't look... Look, I start with 50% power, so I... I did something that drained it a lot. Yeah, look, it just naturally drains a ton. Maybe you have to watch him? Let me see. Where is he? Oh, boy, dude. I don't see him. All right, let's just not use the cams at all. No cams. Let's just stand here and see what happens. Yeah, look at... No, look at look how fast it's draining. Yeah, we're, we're going to lose if I don't do something. Oh, generate power. There we go. That would have been nice to have known about. <laughs> It would have been nice if, you know, somewhere whenever you start the game, it said, hey, you got to generate power, by the way. <laughs> and not just hit it in one of the cameras. Maybe it said something I just missed it. I don't know. All right. Well, this makes it a lot easier. There we go. All right. So he's still pretty far away, right? I don't even think he's shown up yet. Where is he? I mean, that's still cool that we got that jump scare regardless, though. Got to see, like, the original FNAF 1 style jump scare from that thing. So whenever he does show up, though, whatever we have to do, it has to just be like you have to shine the light at him or something. There's no doors, so if I shine my light at him, though, and he still attacks me, I'm going to be so sad. All right, we're almost at 60%. Interesting that it starts you at half of the power, but like I said, it makes sense because you're just, like, coming back to the location after many years. So, obviously, it's not going to be, like, full power, but... All right, keep regenerating that power. Come on. Let's get it up to, like, you know, 65, 69, 70%, one of those, you know? Uh, let's see. Where is he still? Okay, he's still back there. So pretty far away. So the goal here is basically to generate as much power as you can before he shows up. Like, before he gets closer. So that's, like, what the whole start of the game is. Okay. Hmm. Where's he at now? Okay, still not there. I'm worried whenever he leaves camera 1A that he's going to get, like, he's going to start, like, accelerating his movements <laughs> and get here really quick. But the thing is, it's, it's only called a night at the restaurant. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Was that him? Oh, okay. He's still there. Ugh. There's loud noises happening. 
So yeah, th this isn't five nights with him. It's just one singular night. So th it's going to be pretty difficult, I imagine. Come on. All the way up. Oh. See, he's still there. I don't know why I hear, like, movement. Kind of scary. Is he over there? So Is there multiple of them? I don't know. I don't think so. It should just be him. I don't know who's making all these other random noises in the pizzeria, but a little concerning. All right, let's check on him again. He is still not moving. Is that even him at this point? <laughs> like, what if that's not even him? It's like a cardboard cutout of him. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's so far away. Meanwhile, he's, like, right next to me. No, he is still there. Okay, whatever. I'm going for 100% power. That's what I'm doing. Come on, get it up there. Get it up there. At least get it to 90. Wait, let's... Oh, he's moving. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there. Oh, wow. He's still really far away. All right, we're good. Man, moves at the speed of molasses. Goodness gracious. Somebody give him, I don't know, a pep talk. Give him to run. Do something. He seems sad or something. I don't know. <laughs> he is moving so slow. That means whenever he does get here, though, he's going to just continuously... Oh, crap. Wait, why... Ah, oh, you... What the heck? Okay, I turned on a monitor somehow. That scared me because I was not expecting that at all. That, what the heck? What is Shadow Freddy doing there? That was the most random thing I've ever seen. I was so confused when I saw that. Okay, he's out there though. Oh, there he is. Uh, what do I do? What do I do though? What do I, I close it? I'm pressing the buttons. I can't close the doors. I'm dead. Uh, yeah, I can't. Wait, oh, he's gone. I think. Is he? Is he gone or am I going to die as soon as I open the cameras? Why can you turn on these monitors? Oh my god. All right. <laughs> All righty. Well then, uh, you know what? Let's check the game tool page because right now this game currently, it doesn't explain a single thing to you. It's got to be on the game jolt page. Okay, thank goodness for game jolt's community because I there's no instructions anywhere. Everyone's like, hey, uh, how do you uh, happen to survive this thing? Does anyone know? Like, other somebody comes like, I don't know what to do. Okay, so for the decayed bear, as I saw someone call it, uh, you just gotta flash your light at it. So I guess keeping it on it that doesn't work. You have to flash it. Okay, and apparently there's an endo that you have to find. I think it said. I gotta just find him, and I, I, I'm assuming it's this endo right here, right? And he'll eventually move, and you have to you have to find him, or he'll attack you. And then Shadow Freddy, it, it, you just pull up the camera, which is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, that's one thing I feel like this game is really missing. It, it feels like it's kind of like I don't know, I, I it was just kind of like put out, and then <laughs> they didn't like tell you what to do, which I guess is fun in a way. Sure, you know, some people just like doing that. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and wait for him to get a little bit closer because it's going to take years for this guy to come over here. All right, guys, here we go. The 2 a.m. mark. As you can see, I'm at 100% power because I haven't, I, I've literally, I've just been looking down on my phone and <laughs> generating power. I was just watching some YouTube videos because, I mean, literally, there's nothing to be worried about in the first, like, half of the game. It's just him slowly coming towards you. So, uh, you know, I caught up on some YouTube videos and now, okay, there he is. He's on his way. All right, all right, all right. We got it this time. So... We know after this one, he goes to the hallway on cam 4A. What is that noise? I, oh my God. I really hope that's the actual endo that I'm supposed to be watching though. <laughs> Cause if it's not, and there's another one, I might be dead. I don't know. <laughs> that might, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna survive if this, this isn't the correct endo. But then again, who knows what the correct endo is? Cause the game doesn't tell you anything. Okay, wait, where is he? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he? Where'd he go? Hold on a minute. He's gone. Where did he go? What on earth? Where did he go? How is he just gone? Oh my god, not you again. Go away. Where did he go? He's just disappeared off the whole map. He must be in the... Is he in the kitchen? Is he... I don't know where... Where did he go? He's literally just gone. Huh? How does he just disappear off the map? <laughs> what? He no-clipped. There he is. How did he go? Okay, he went back to camera 1B. I think they do do that in FNAF 1. I'm pretty sure at least. Okay, he's all the way back there though. Leave me alone. Leave me. Actually, no. Come and attack. I want to see if my... Oh, no. I said it and he's actually doing it. Okay, here he comes. He's close. Um, I don't know. Oh, my God. He's really... Ah, no. Go away. Okay. We got it this time. I'm going to flash him with the camera and nothing else. Come on, buddy. Show up. Where you at? Where you at? Do it. Just do it already. Get it over with. Come on. Watch him attack from the other side. Oh, there he is. Okay, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yes. Go, 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 go. Hear that or I'm about to get jump scared. All right, so where's this endo at? This has to be the endo. It has to be. I think it's for the endo. I just have to watch it, I think. 
I hope that's the right... Wait, 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 wait. Where is the green guy? Okay, there he is. Oh, look, there he is! Oh, crap. Am I doing it right, though? He's like Foxy, right? I just gotta stare at him. Oh, crap, wait a minute. We have a green man approaching... Oh, my God, wait, what's happening? What's happening right now? I'm gonna lose. I don't know what's... Where's the green man at? Hold on, wait, 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 Endo, Endo, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, wait, Endo, Endo! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, crap, I'm dead. Oh, there he is, I found you. What's happening? I think I got him. Oh, no! Wait, no, I have to look out for the green man. I don't know what happened to the green man. He's gone. The Endo should be back. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, wow, oh my gosh, dude, look at the green guy. He's so far away. <laughs> All right, come on, green man. What are you doing back there? You can't even attack me. I dare you. Try to attack me before 6 a.m. Okay, I was joking. I was, I was joking. I was. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. All right, we have enough power to survive. Oh my god, he actually did it. He actually did it. The madman actually did it. Oh crap, the endo again. All right, this is good though. This is good. Wait. Oh, I found him on accident. I was looking for the green guy, and that guy just showed up there. Oh my god. All right, that keeps. Oh my god, you're back again? What? That was lucky. I, I, I'm not even, I, I keep getting scared by the purple bear because I'm not expecting it. It's just like, there's one thing I'm not expecting and it's that. Alright, what, what's going on here with 5am? 5am, are you feeling okay? Why are you? Oh my god. 5am, you need to, you need to do something, 5am. And it's called going up one hour by going to 6am, please. There he is, there he is. And I saw the green man too. He's in, okay, he's on camera five. He's so far away. All right. Oh my God, why, why is he? Oh, he was like a ghost that time. We did it. There we go. Holy mo, okay. Trunks is happy about that. Trunks is happy about that one. He's like, thank goodness you survived the night. <laughs> one of the camera notifications went off and every time he hears that, he thinks there's somebody here. So he's running over there barking at nothing. Well then, that was a night at the restaurant. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, as many have heard, Fazbear Entertainment's very own Freddy Fazbear's Pizza will be permanently shutting down this week. The restaurant will be open for one more day this week before it shuts down forever. In a statement issued by the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment, he states that there will be a special character performing on the upcoming final day of the restaurant in place of the animatronics scene, in place of the animatronics scene at the location. As it has been confirmed, they they've been sold to a private collector. Ooh. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, like I said, whenever you kind of like go to the game tool page and figure out what to do, it's obviously a very easy game. Uh, that's one complaint I really have. Like the whole first half of the game is just nothing. <laughs> You're just like standing. Literally, like I said, for like the first half of the game, I was just staring at my phone while holding the recharge button. There's just nothing else to do. But the main game was really cool. And the, the office looked awesome. The animatronic looked awesome. The, the cameras looked great. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Now there is still a hard mode, but obviously since we're just doing, you know, a little bit of gameplay of each game, we're going to move on to the next one now. But yeah, I give that one an A+. All right, guys, so here we are with the final game. Now, this is called Poppy and Buddies, and this one looks like it's going to be very scary. I've seen a little bit of, screen, uh, a little bit of screenshots and some gameplay from the game, and it looks horrifying, the animatronics in this one. They just look very unnatural, and I think they're insects or something like that, but... I think this is going to be a fun one. Oh, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the game. If there's any of these games that we play in today's video that you guys want to see me do a second video on, you know, on just the game, that game alone, comment it down below. You know, so for instance, if it's this one, comment down below Poppy and Buddies if you guys want to see more of that one. Or if it's the other ones, you know, comment down below Night at the Restaurant, so on and so forth. And we'll do, you know, full videos or full series on them if you guys really want to see it. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into shift number one and begin. This looks like it's going to be so scary though, man. I am, ooh. I'm worried right now about this one. I just, I know I'm going to get jump scared a lot. I know it's going to be horrifying. Here we go. Okay, 12 a.m. It looks like we're in a normal looking office. We do have a phone call. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Office light on or off. What? Mute. Okay. So wait, how do I? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Hello. Welcome to your new night shift job. This pre-recorded message is used as insight as to what you should be expecting here. So, let's get started. At Buzzing Busy Productions, we always value a safe and comfortable work environment. However, of course, we disregard the idea of slacking off. This is why you'll be put up against our two animatronic mascots, Poppy the Busy Bee I don't know why I pressed and that. Arnie the Ant. You have been given the necessary tools used in this workspace and this space alone. Poppy. The character on the far left side of the stage camera will make its way towards your right entry point. If he so happens to reach you, simply flash and hold your light on Poppy until he decides to move away. Next, Arnie 
The character to the right side of the stage camera will move off the stage at any random interval. Finding him and pressing the clear and obvious button on the bottom right of your surveillance tablet will send him back to the show stage position. Be aware, Arnie may not be as clear as daylight when moving. That's all. Remember to hold your light on Poppy and find Arnie. Good luck on your new shift training. We're rooting for you. Okay, so we've got a bee and we've got an ant. Simplified it, there you go. And uh, the red one, you gotta use a sound boom on him, all right? The yellow one, you gotta uh, flash your light at it, which I don't know how, how do you do that exactly? I, I guess it means this? The office light? Cause I don't have, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, all right, well that would, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> that would have been useful to know. All right, well, there we go, I could turn around. That's terrifying though, looking down that hallway. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, so let's just keep an eye on the, are they already moving? No, oh, no, no, no. See, you go from a night at the restaurant to this, and it's all right. Yep, they're moving quick. Ugh, look at that face, dude. That face is the stuff of nightmares. It really is. I mean, at least there's only two of them, though, which is kind of surprising. I'm assuming later on there'll be more that show up, but I don't know. I mean, well, I think there's only three shifts, which is like three nights in the game. Oh my god, it's moving again. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got this. He's he's coming. Oh wait, there's a left side too. Oh wow. Okay. Good thing I paid attention to that. I would have been like, where is he? I'm on the, the hallway. There's two different hallways he can show up from. Oh, great. So right now he's in the restrooms. Oh, he's moving again. Oh, he's in hall B. Okay, one more movement. You know what that means. One more movement. That's all it's going to take. Oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. Is that him? Is that him? It's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. T t oh, crap. Okay, wait. Uh, It said flash it at No, it said hold it on him. It said hold it on him. It said hold it on him, right? Oh, boy. I'm dead. Oh. I think I'm dead. Let's find out. Uh, is he there? Is he? Yeah, he is. All right, nice. Imagine I still get jump scared. <laughs> nice. All right, that's pretty simple. Obviously, it's gonna get a lot harder whenever things are sped up and you have to use more of your flashlight and you have less battery. But for right now, not too bad. Not too shabby. But bring it back to why we're doing uh, three random FNAF games. I think this is a good way to like give each game exposure too. Cause like if I don't play them. Then, I mean, of course, other people are going to play them, but... Oh, crap, wait, I got to find the red ant. But I feel like this is a good way to, like, give exposure to just, like, other games in, like, a shorter format video. Where did he go? Where is he? I can't even... Where'd he go? You get... Oh, there he is. Oh, my God, he's all the way in the back. I didn't know he could hide all the way back there. Oh, my goodness. That's a good hiding spot. Crap, wait, where's the... Okay, there's the other one. There's the bee. But, yeah, I feel like this is a good way to, like, give a little bit of exposure to each game without having to do, like, a full series on them or anything like that. Which is very, you know, it's, I think it's cool. All right, so he's back there now. Got the bee in the restroom. Nice. All right, the bee in the restroom. The red ant still sitting back there on the stage. He's got to be scared, though, because later on, he's going to be hard to find, I feel like. Okay, here we go. So it's going to be the same hallway as before, right? Let me see. Yep, same hallway. Oh, no way. He's already... Wait, what? Is that... Don't tell me that... No way. No way. That's the red ant. No Oh my god, there he is. We found him. Okay, we need to do this. Holy moly, that's scary. We got so lucky finding him. So lucky. Why is he not going away? Don't tell me I actually... Don't tell me I was actually supposed to flash him with the flashlight. I just got lucky. Don't tell me. Okay, no, he's back. I don't know why it took him so long to go away that time. But dude, the fact that we got him right before I got attacked by the bee. Oh my goodness. I think if we wouldn't have found him right there, we would have lost. I'm pretty sure, at least. I don't know. Wait, what time is it? Okay. It's kind of weird. It only says the time whenever you're not in the cams. But if for that, you can just have the time on a clock, can't you? <laughs> like, what, what's the purpose of not showing it on the cameras? Unless it is here somewhere. Okay, wait a minute. Don't tell me. That's the bee. Or the, the, the ant. The ant. Where's the ant? Hello? Cameras! Come on! I'm trying to find an ant here. It's sitting there turning off the camera. Oh, there he is. He's hanging out with the bee. All right, that one was pretty easy, luckily. That one, all right, wasn't as bad as the other two. Okay, here he goes again. Yep, here he goes again. All right, let's make sure, okay, he's there. If that ant moves again, if that ant even thinks about it, I'm gonna be so upset with him. I'm gonna be so upset with him if he, uh, that, that better be, okay, it's him. All right, so we're gonna flash it just in case, because honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm doing right to get rid of this guy, but something's working. Ugh, I hate him though, his face is just so nasty looking. Go away. There he goes. Okay, that one took a while. Oh, wait, the ant, the ant. We, oh, is that him back? That's him back there already. <laughs> He's already back there. Nice try. You thought I wouldn't see you. 
Oh, man. I wonder if you have, like, a lot of time to get rid of him or if you only have, like, a short amount of time. Because if you have a short amount of time, oh, man, that's scary. Uh, I feel like I'm just getting lucky at that point, then. It's got to be somewhat like a game of luck with, like, the amount of time they give you to actually find him sometimes. Okay, he's all the way back there in the main diner. How are we doing for time? Oh, my goodness. You're joking me. It's only 4 a.m. Hello? What's going on here with the time? What's happening? Oh, no. Not not you again. Okay, no. It, all right, now it's him. Y yep, it's him now. Okay, we got to find the ant. All right, um... Let's see here. No. Mm, oh, all right. Same room again. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. Keep working together, please. This is very helpful for me. Makes it a lot easier for me. Okay, here we go. Next move is him inside the hallway, but the ant could also move. So I don't know which one we want to do first. Uh, I mean, let's just, let's just hope that it's going to be the B, right? Let's just look over. It is. Okay. It's 5 a.m. I'm obviously going to have to find the ant right after this. What? Wait, what? What is that? Huh? Did I win? What? Is this like a secret B jump scare? What just... Oh, no, I won. <laughs> what? Wait, it was just 4 a.m. Why did 5 a.m. go by so quickly? 4 a.m. must have took way longer. I don't... I'm not questioning it. Well, then, that was Poppy and Buddies and uh, three random FNAF fan games. Overall, all three of these were very well made and a lot of fun. Well, I mean, the first one obviously needed some work, but they said it, you know, at the end of the game. Um, the second one, I feel like, needs some instructions, but then again, that just might be their style, where they just want you to die a bunch of times to figure it out. And this one was cool. I will say the main office on this one is a little bland, in my opinion, but the cams and stuff like that were pretty cool, and the actual animatronics look very scary, so I kind of made up for it. But yeah, that was fun. So let me know if you guys want to see more of this series in the comment section down below. Leave it a like, stuff like that. And if you have three random FNAF fan games you'd like me to check out in the next video, drop them in the comment section down below, and we'll definitely do a video on them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.